Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today we're going to be learning this effect in After Effects. So the inspiration for that effect I got from Jesse Nelson featuring Nicki Minaj's music video for the song Boys where someone blows out smoke and it says baddies and it looked really good. So go ahead and open up After Effects and grab the text tool and type whatever text you want to turn into smoke. Now before we continue I just align that text right into the middle by going to the align tab and getting it in the middle. Now with that text layer selected go to layer auto trace and make sure it's set to alpha and then hit OK and that should create masks around every letter. And now we can go ahead and delete the original text layer and now we have this auto trace layer. And later in this tutorial, I'll tell you why we do that. All right, now go to your effects and search for the one called fractal noise and add it to that new text layer. Now for the fractal type, I set it to cloudy and then noise type, I set it to spline. Then I move the contrast down to 88 and then I went back to the effects and then added turbulent displace. I changed the displacement to turbulent smoother and then changed the amount to 26 and the size to eight. And then I just adjusted the complexity to 1.9. All right, now on your text layer, you're going to go to the masks and highlight all of the masks. You can just click one and then command A and that should highlight them all and then hit F on the keyboard and that'll bring up the feather. And then I just changed the feather on all those masks to 10. And that is exactly why we auto trace so we could make it look a little more smoky and smooth. And if you want the smoke on the smoke text to move, then you're gonna wanna keyframe the evolution throughout the duration of that text layer. Now, if you wanted your smoke layer to reveal like that music video that I was talking about, then you would film your subject blowing out fake smoke and this effect would look way better if you have a really good smoke layer that you can add in there but unfortunately i didn't find any really convincing ones but i worked with what i had so you'd add your smoke layer on top of that text layer and set it to screen and then on your text layer you would create a mask around the entire thing and set that mask mode to subtract and then you would turn on the mask path keyframes and animate the reveal of the smoke text as the smoke is exhaled and don't forget to bump up that mask feather on that subtraction mask that we just made because we want smooth edges. So I bumped mine up to 35. And then boom, that is how you make a smoke text layer and how you can reveal it when someone exhales smoke. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.